Welcome back to the River Cottage Kitchen Food Tubers, where we are loving our leftovers as never before. And today I'm going to show you a delightful dish of tamari greens with ginger and cashews. So the question is, when you've got just a handful of cooked greens or cabbage left at the end of a meal, is it really worth hanging on to? Well, the answer is a resounding yes especially if you've got this nifty little recipe up your sleeve. And it all hangs on a delightful dressing that you can just shake up in a jam jar. This dressing is all about zinging the greens back to life. So I'm gonna start with a good squeeze of lime, but lemon would do very nicely too. Now for some toasted sesame oil, a really richly flavored salad oil. A good dash of soy sauce gives the salty tang. And this is mirin, an aged rice wine seasoning. It's got a lovely sweetness to it. But just to give it a helping hand, a little pinch of brown sugar. Now for those really punchy Asian flavors, ginger and garlic. I'm gonna grate them both in. Lid on, give it all a shake and a swirl and let those flavors marry and mingle. Now, just that dressing on the cooked cabbage is going to bring it right back to life. But in order to make this more of a dish, more almost of an elegant little starter, I'm just heading over to the cooker. A handful of cashews and of course toasting them in a frying pan really does lift the flavour. Just five minutes or so. And now that the cashews are showing a nice bit of colour, let's sprinkle some sesame seeds in there too. Starting to pop straight away. Look at that. And I'm just gonna tip them into a little bowl to cool off a bit. And now to bring it all together. First of all, the dressing goes on, and I'm gonna be generous with it because this is really gonna give the whole thing such a lift. And I give it a really nice mix so it's properly coated. The smells coming off that dressing, the sesame oil and the ginger, it's just so lovely. I'm gonna eat this cold as a salad, but you could quickly stir fry the cabbage and then dress it for a warm dish. Now, I've got just a little handful of fresh coriander, which is gonna give it even more aroma. I'm just gonna run the knife over it very briefly. Sprinkle that coriander over and give the cabbage one more turn. Let's knock it out onto a plate. Scattering of cashews. Good pinch of those sesame seeds. For a final little kick, just the merest hint of chili flakes. Well, first up, I think it looks stunning. And you know what? It tastes sensational. Just so many hits of amazing flavors. And it's certainly one of the best ways I know to bring a bit of boiled cabbage back from the brink. Just lovely. So if you like the look of this one, food tubers, don't forget that you can leave a comment down here. And of course, you can subscribe to River Cottage Food Tube for lots more lovely recipes like this one. For the next few weeks here on River Cottage Food Tube, look out for a whole raft of recipes that shows you how to love your leftovers.